from a from a, an attack to the legs. All right, we don't have to attack the legs. If, if the guy is in a turtle position, we can apply this. We have to have techniques for if my leg ends up with his head here, with his head here, with his head here. I have to have techniques for that. You know, just simply moving my leg around is sometimes not an option because the guy's really holding it. Okay, so the first technique I showed was when my leg lands on the outside. So his body's on this side of my leg. He's shot and he's taking the this, this, this single leg or something. And I'm just going to sprawl down. And now I have this situation. Okay. There's a lot of options here, as I showed this a sumigashi, uh, that I can sacrifice the guy by stepping in and going in. Um, and then I can also, by turning my leg, I take my hand and I do like an impairment, a judo roll. And I'm going to go after his forearm on this side. So when I, when I come across, I'm going this way, and I'm tucking, and I'm going to kick off with this leg, holding this, this committed hand that's committed onto my leg. So I'm going to turn my foot so that it's hooking it already. So I'm here, I'll turn my foot, boom, boom. I have this, it's locked, right, I just locked that. This hand, I can either palm it down, I can even sankaku it if I want to, or like a traditional sankaku hold to help me, assist me so I'm not using so much power. I can sit up and hold this where he's going to have a very difficult time because the range of motion that he has here is a lot of power. And I'm going to choke. One, if it were no gi, I just slide in. If, if this is too loose and I can't get enough traction on it, I turn my hand this way, lift my elbow over, and come here. Right? And then I can finish into a, a normal traditional sankaku position, which is to push his head down, scoop my hips a little, come here, grab this, lock it up, arm bar, wrist lock, lock this up. Or even, I can even go a step further, pull this around and go here. Or I can come under. So there's quite a few. There's a choke here, traditionally. So this is just a different way to get into it. A traditional song copy with a lot of options along the way. So you have five or six chains or, or series of links that you can go through from that position. And so that's what I showed today, right? It's a review. And then the other one is a traditional uh, position where his head ends up in between my legs. So our normal Yoko Sankaku is if his head came here and he was going after my leg and I went in here, right? So traditionally, I would fall to this side and pull his weight on top of me and lock up. I can also pull this up and slide under, right? And now I've locked him up as well, the rolling over. So this is a Sankaku still, no matter what. I can really lift this up if I wanted to, right, tighten it all up. So I showed you that. But this one, this is a little more fancy. Because the situation is up here, and I'm trying to go this way, but he's trying to push me, push me on the other side. So, you know, I'm sort of, uh oh, do I have enough energy? And at the last moment, what I can do is this heel hooks inside, and I take this hand and do a judo roll this way. Again, I have this, I lock it up, I have it again. I have this all locked up, I have the chokes. I can come here, right? So it's just a different way of ending up in the same sound pop. Okay, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, so that's review. So now you guys have our review. <laughs> <laughs>